welcome to a new video on fake and real just for you today i am going to do a comparison to a fake jacques Cumus bag and a real one so let's get started let's start with the fake jacques Cumus. now the first thing and the very important thing is logos in most cases logos are very hard to uh, fake and also the material that fake bags have made of plastic you know, cheap plastic but also doesn't really have a clean cut isn't grinded perfectly or smooth as the original now if you look closely you can see that there this is probably made of plastic or aluminium and you can see here small ridges where the letters have been cut off from their mold they haven't been grinded properly one thing that you could also identify as a fake and the m here as you can see there's not a clean opening and it's almost as if it's one piece and it's not grinded another thing is the sealment here are two separate parts it should be one whole piece so also check that out now again the logo is very important all high fashion brands are very meticulous on their logo it needs to be the same each and every time so when you compare yours to another or in this case if you compare to a fake most cases you immediately see the difference especially here as you can see that in general it's a slight slightly crooked but in in my experience and because I'm very detailed oriented I can see that it's partially crooked the letters are a little bit off some are a little bit higher than the other but in general if you compare it with the real one you will easily see the difference this is the back of the bag now in general not really much you can see sometimes the stitches are off but because this bag is pretty simple and easy to fake you need to really look at specific details with this bag you see a double lining right going all the way here and with the real bag it's not double lined it's sealed up in one piece also the rest of the bag as well you shouldn't see a double lining maybe a, a little but it shouldn't be a huge gap as you see at the handle here and as well as in the first image right here at the top now this is the front of the bag and this is a fake now I'll point out with the pencil what to look for all right so there are two things here that catch my attention right away one is the gap between the logo and the bag slightly off again the details are very important and second thing is if you look you can see the sealman here is not done nicely a thin part here and a thick here and this is a little off now as we know a lot of high-end designers don't make these mistakes they're mostly straight even and also the logo is mostly centered in every part of the bag and the last thing is that this stitching here is a little off you can see it starts somewhere almost three quarter of the way and then goes all the way to the other side plus it has a pointy ending here and it shouldn't be pointy now let's compare it to a real one you can see it goes all the way up let me get a pencil again it goes it starts here on the top and goes all the way down and goes back up here and also it has a curve right at the end there and as I mentioned all straight lines and it has a little bit but you can see all straight lines stitching beautifully the spacing is gorgeous and also here you can see that the spacing of the bag the logo is beautifully placed where it should be beautifully with the lining and also with the logo so guys this is the end of this video i hope these small tips help beware of fakes out there 
if you want to buy a fig then you will know that will cost between 15 and 50 euros or if you buy them in dollars of course same thing and in most cases if you buy them from Chinese manufacturers you always get fakes now buy an original you'll probably pay a couple of hundred dollars so you choose if you want to have a fake or you want to have a real one but remember designer clothes designer products are never cheap and if you want cheap products just buy different products if you choose to buy fake ones then please be aware that you're actually stimulating manufacturers to keep producing fakes every time designers real designers come up with beautiful products so if you have any questions put them in the comment section if you want to see another comparison of a bag or clothing let me know i'll do that video check out the rest of the videos for other comparisons hope to see you guys next time take care